How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 12 has just been announced for Forza Horizon 5 and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. The full festival playlist, the new cars, just the whole update summed up. I do need to quickly note I still have four Hot Wheels DLC codes to give away to you guys. I picked five of you a couple of weeks ago and only one of you has actually replied. I have four left if you want to be in a chance of winning one of the Hot Wheels DLC codes. Comment down below and make sure you subscribe. I will pick four people at random in a couple of days time. Anyway update 12. So I'm going to start off with telling you everything about the festival playlist and all of the new cars within that. This month's theme is the Horizon Road Trip. The Horizon Road Trip festival playlist is inspired by the variety of racing activities available throughout Mexico's vast landscape. Every week starting the 15th of September through to October the 13th, the seasonal activities will be themed around a specific type of race event. So summer is going to be road racing, autumn is cross country, winter is street racing and spring is dirt racing. In addition to that, each week there will be one seasonal championship featuring five race events rather than three, as well as another featuring a single Goliath type race route that's appropriate to the weekly racing theme. So one will be road, one will be cross country, street and dirt. Quite a cool theme this month. So let's have a look at the festival playlist itself. The full series, as you can see, for 80 points, you can get the first new car of the month, the Audi RS e-tron. And then for 160 points, the McLaren 765LT. Now I do have a little sort of promotional cinematic video of the Audi RS e-tron, which is the first new car. I'm going to roll that now. Pretty cool, so as I said that is the first new car of this month, 80 points on the full series. So the first week, which is summer, for 20 points you can get the second new car of, the, of this month, the Bentley Turbo R, and then for 40 points the MG MG3. Forzathon shop for that first week will have stuff like the Koenigsegg CC GT, the Ferrari F12 TDF, the Parade car horn and a sundress that we all know who that'll look good on. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the festival playlist activities available for the rest of that week. Now the second week, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the third new car of this week, Audi RS7 from 2021. I'm really looking forward to that car. And then for 40 points, the Toyota 4Runner. The Forzathon shop for that second week will have stuff like the Ferrari Enzo, a Windows Tada car horn, which is pretty cool, and a Toyota Tacoma Diverti design car, and a Doodle Jumper jacket, which actually looks pretty cool. Once again, a few more screenshots of the rest of the challenges of that second week. Now the third week, which is winter, the fourth new car is available for 20 points, the Link & Co from 2021. It's not from 2003, don't get confused about the 03, it's a 2021 car, the Link & Co, that is the fourth new car, and then for 40 points, the Donker Vought GTO. Forzathon shop for that third week will have the Porsche 911 GT1, the McLaren 650S Coupe, a Breaking Shatter car horn, and Doodle Pattern Joggers. A few more screenshots here of the rest of the challenges for that third week. The fourth and final week, which is spring, which is the fifth new car of this month, the Nissan Nismo Sentra for 20 points. And then for 40 points, the Ferrari 512 Testarossa. Forzathon shop for that fourth week will have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, the Gong Car Horn, the Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 Ford Escort Cosworth Group A, and the Star 27 Ankle Socks. Once again, here are the rest of the challenges available at the fourth and final week.
So we've got five new cars along the festival playlist, as you saw there. Each week has its own theme towards a type of race. As I said earlier, the race, um, the road racing, the street racing, the dirt racing and the cross country. That is it for new cars. However, there are two new body kits in the game as previously announced in a couple of videos back. We now know what those body kits are going to be. They are adding to Forza Horizon 5, the APR Performance Wide Body Kit for the 2010 Volkswagen Golf R. I've got a few screenshots of it on screen right here. That is the first body kit they are adding to the game. This car is already in the game. This isn't a new car. This is just a new body kit. So that's pretty cool. The second one is the DRO USA Wide Body for the 2019 Hyundai Veloster N. As on screen, I have more photos of it, thankfully. This one's pretty cool. I kind of like this one. Not gonna lie, these weren't the body kits I was expecting. These were these are very, very random, but I'm sure we can expect more body kits to come. I highly doubt this is gonna be it for body kits. It's just these are the two that they've included in this Series 12 update. They have added more character customization, or more specifically, a character customization category called amplification. Hearing aids. Hearing aids are immediately unlocked once you've downloaded the Horizon Road Trip update and can be equipped at any time throughout the character customization interface or at any player house or at fast festival playlist outposts. You get the gist of it. They'll come in a variety of colors and styles, more specifically the left and right. I, I, to be honest, I don't know much about hearing aids. I presume they are four different types of hearing aids. So you can see on screen that is the new customization for your character. So that's pretty cool. Now, as of features, there isn't actually really much more. We have a few bugs and fixes which they've noted out, which I'm going to touch on now. Um, I'm going to pop them on screen. Since the Series 10 update, leaderboard entries have not been successfully registering. Personally, I think this might be because they've changed something with the leaderboards, which are stopping hacked and cheated times from registering on the leaderboards. And I have a feeling that it's actually stopping some legitimate time from registering on the leaderboards. But either way, if I'm right or wrong, that is now fixed. Um, weekly Forzathon challenge bugging out if you didn't do them in order, that's been fixed. A fix to allow Steam players to unlock one for all and back in the saddle achievements. Low frame rates for PC players with a certain graphics card. Um, a fix for not connected message to incorrectly pop up in event lab and then the audio cutting out when you're applying upgrades or tuning setups to your car that's also been fixed a very quick general idea of what bugs and fixes are coming now there will be a lot more bugs and fixes you can expect a second video on the channel if there are a lot more we don't know of them just yet we'll know about that when we get the change log in a couple of days time now that is everything for update 12 as usual we got our first glimpse at update 13 which is next month and my predictions were correct horizon 10 year anniversary and the cool thing about this is all four of the you know gadgets at the bottom are mystery items more on that in one of my future videos so there we are guys update 12 comes out this week and the season starts a week today next thursday keep an eye out for it and once again if you want a chance at winning a hot wheels dlc code make sure to comment your name and subscribe and all that jazz and i'll pick four of you since four of you didn't reply leave a like if you enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this and i'll see you all later